Oh, there, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode here on Past Egypt's Getting Something. Pleasure to have you. Thank you very much for joining us. Today, we're going to be looking at the double discount sale for PlayStation Plus subscribers on the PlayStation Network. An absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you very much for jumping in. We've got to check out some of these sales items because there's some decent games and a lot of good savings to be had. But um, there's a lot of games in there that I don't care for. So I've kind of gone through, healed through the big list, all the games that are here, all the different details. It says Marvel vs. Capcom, NHL, Injustice, uh, Kingdom Hearts, a lot of stuff in here. But not everything has my attention. A lot of stuff has already been bought over time just because I wanted the game just then and there. So in the seal, these are the top five games you may not already own, but I highly recommend giving it a try. Number one on our list, Dreamfall Chapters. So Dreamfall Chapters is an ongoing like the third part of an ongoing series that started on PC. I played the second part on console, and then the third part was actually only created because of the support of Kickstarter backers uh, a few, I think it was maybe four years ago, three, four years ago. And of course, it's been out for a while, so it's actually been dropped in price. I've been meaning to pick this up to play it just because I was a big fan of The Longest Journey and of Dreamfall, the second game. I think it was just called Dreamfall, The Longest Journey. So. Dreamfall Chapters, this is the next step. If you've never heard of The Longest Journey or the Dreamfall, uh, Dreamfall The Longest Journey, then maybe this, maybe this might be not as, I don't know, uh, not, not as interesting to you, but I'd recommend looking back over the lineage of this because sometimes whenever we do this whole nostalgia trip thing, we want to see something that's old yet new, we miss out on some, of the, some really interesting concepts. The entire idea of a comedian character who literally falls asleep and becomes another character and thus becomes your new playable character was a neat trick whenever it first came out. And it gave you a wonderful kind of sense of a metropolis, metropolis that city that the girl lived in while there was this period kind of fantasy drama period, place that you played as the other character and you swapped with the characters back and forth and it seemed actually like one person's events would inform the others. It, would, it was enjoyable. It was weird. And now we have the modern iteration of it with the story continuing on. So check out Dreamfall Chapters for a particularly low price of $7.99. Not too bad. Some of the higher ones actually on the discounts too. Clockwork Tales of Glass and Ink. We play Clockwork Tales here on the channel. I'm on the bet. I can put the Wii annotation or a card up in the corner to show you us actually playing that game. I loved it. I love the design of it. It's, one the, it's a game that made me start wanting to do the Artifacts Mondays. And I never went back to play it. So now, that, and also the fact that Artifacts Money never provided a code for this game. Um, they gave me plenty of codes for other games to try out and show it to you guys. But this is the one that they never did. So I have to purchase it and I have to get my hands on it. And at £2, it's not a bad deal at all. I mean, you've got all the rest of the ones sitting there. A lot of these are discounted as well as part of the sale. If there's one in particular that you like, then maybe you want to check that out for yourself. But for me, it is Clockwork Tales of Glass and Things. That is my favorite Artifacts Monday game and I'm glad to be paying for it. So, um, yep, guys from Artifact Monday, if you watch my videos, I know you do occasionally. Hogwarts Tales, more of that, more of that please, more periods with steampunk, more of this, all of that. Next up on the list is Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy, a Telltale series. All I wanted this to be is Tales from the Borderlands 2. <laughs> That's the honest truth. And Guardians of the Galaxy is probably contextually the closest Marvel franchise that could make a Tales of the Borderlands jokey entertaining epic story so i even though we played the first episode and i didn't have the most amazing opinions of it i, had, I enjoyed it but i want to know more i want to see where it goes i think it pretty much ended with them standing up to thanos at the very end of the first episode and i was like ah this is going to get interesting so yeah gardens of the galaxy telltale well worth a check out for me and my personal preference and if you actually are a telltale fan you're going to like the next choice that i have right here as well the first series of batman the telltale series I played the first episode of the second series, really enjoyed it. I uh, was curious to find out what we had actually done in the previous Telltale series. I'd heard a number of problems with the uh, Twitch inter interaction. It's actually like tanked the gameplay, but um, I'm probably going to probably play this live and then make a more uh, Tell Us a Tale series. Like that's, that's one of the reasons why I'm buying both of these games because I miss doing Tell Us a Tale. So uh, yeah, I want to actually get back into doing those on a regular basis with you guys. If you want to see which one, First, just tell me. Just say it in the comments underneath which one you want to see first, Guardians of the Galaxy or Batman. And the last of the top five that I'm going to be picking out of the discount sale is Yakuza 0. And goddamn do I love me some Yakuza. 
and I have the I, I feel like I should support Sega anytime they actually like put out a good game. And Yakuza has been a sterling series since its start. Uh, coming out of like being built out of essentially what Shenmue was, and then standing almost like as a bizarre Japanese RPG esque mix um, cross between GTA and Shenmue. I loved it. And a lot of the early games have so much cut content that it was actually like, it was, it was painstaking to actually like sit and watch all the stuff that you could be doing and all the goofy shit that was actually censored out. But now the games have actually become so popular that a lot of that stuff is back in in the most recent remakes, especially with Yakuza Kiwami out now. So maybe it's time to go back, way, way back, way, way back to the actual origins and check out Yakuza Zero and see how Majima and the dragon of Dojima uh, pretty much got their first starts in life. This is going to be fun, so uh, I'm looking forward to playing it here on the channel. If you want to see that, make sure to say as well in the comments. So guys, that was actually the top five choices. That's my top five choices of the double discounts this year. There was a few games that I actually would have almost made it on this list, but they had already been purchased by me. Things like Fantasy 7, the PS4 remaster. Uh, what else was in there on that list? There was definitely a few games that actually felt like I should have put on this list, but I've already picked them up at previous sales. And sometimes at better prices than the current ones. So this is actually the top five for price to timing ratio, I suppose, if you had a graph that would design it. But yep, that's what you get in on those five games if you actually buy them now. 76 pound of 121 pounds. So 45 quid for five games, which isn't bad. Especially if you look at other sales that are on at the moment in the Hong Kong stores, which we'll be talking about very, very soon. But thank you very much for checking this out. I'm going to proceed to check out and pay for these games. And I will see all you dudes in the next video. Bye.